concrete wall here seems to be sufficiently set so we're going to undo the shuttering now and then slide it along that g-clamp that i thought was doing nothing was stopping this piece of wood from sliding this way when the weight went behind it anyway that's all good now right let's see if the studs are going to slide out hopefully yep Easy. Right, so just need to slide them along now and then we need to fix something to here actually just so that that makes it a bit wider need to hack some of this away so when the panel comes it doesn't sit on the bump oh it's not too bad yeah let me get you some goggles I'm welding this hoop on here now so that when it's in the concrete it keys better gives the concrete something to sort of grip around it's going to be the end stop against the pillar remember being a kid and painting tar on these pillars and it was done that good a job they've never been done since the only thing is when you come to grind it off now what do you say it smells like an old steam, steam engine, engine. <laughs> just gonna polish it off now while I'm doing that. <laughs> 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 Bacon fry and that's the noise. Whoa. Tom's left his dad's car here while he picked up the fast track, so have a quick look inside. Let's have a look in the boot. Because it's got a boot at the front and the back. Started up, Andrew. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh, sounds a beast. Proper, isn't it? Stephen's just showing me his new 3D printer, which is making. Is it on there? The screen? What are you making? What are you making on there? So, where is it? That one? FXO1. Ah. So it's a bracket to hold the um, the polishing machine and wrap the wires around. All right, and then this is some other stuff we've made. And then look at that bolt. It's cool, isn't it? The shelf brackets. <laughs> Designed by artificial intelligence to be the strongest and lightest. No way. They hold 80 kilograms each, though. 80? Yeah, each one of them is rated to 80 kilograms. Jesus. Here we go, we've lifted that panel out now. Just lifting this one out. And it's come away pretty handy, nice and smooth. Before it nicks, they get to dig the hole out for the next post. That's ready now. Uh, we're just gonna have our dinner before we start mixing concrete. We've just done some modifications as well to the concrete mixer. Yeah, we've just adjusted this scraper so it scrapes a bit closer because it was leaving a bit of a dry patch around the outside. And when you open the chute, the dry bit was falling out first. We tried to lower that down as well a bit, but it was a bit difficult. So we've knocked that out a bit closer again. So it just churns a bit more. We've had this now about seven years and we've never really adjusted anything or, or or you know done much to it at all so hopefully i should make it mix a bit better before i forget to say and mention this is leaving the great echoes of showground at 11 o'clock tomorrow charlie's convoy great charity go and check it out just moving richard's pickup so we can get some spray out the shed and um i think he needs a new air freshener because it doesn't smell that nice and i don't know whether they're doing a new one now with the modified engine so ellie's tractor blew up the other day the tracks pulled the day before we were there look at the picture of it now fairly catastrophic engine failure anyway how do you move this toyota there we go now it's not quite as windy and the rain's gone andrew's off out now spraying a little bit of wheat while well, me and james and richard are going to do this concrete in. just tidying up the floor 
horse and there's no stones in the wood chip. Richard's just put a little bit of sand in now. Now to add the cement. Nick bought a pallet of it. Uh, we think we're going to have to buy him another one back because we can't use most of it. Carbon in, that'll stop it spilling, won't it? Just stab a hole in the side of the drum. Don't use the shoe. The wait is over. The uh, Burgundy Charlotte Ashley edition hats are now in stock. And also, we've got some more polos and the ra is, it, is that raspberry we call them? Raspberry pink polos as well. Cool then, aren't they? Nice, thank you. Hmm? The website link is below every video. Second batch going in now. There we go. Tiny bit left, but we've got this pillar concrete in ready for doing the next wall here. Rob's welded this on now as well because that was quite narrow, so we don't want the wall that thick, so we're making it that thick. So we'll clamp the panels to that now for the next pour. We got enough, and it's not too much. Yeah. Took the mixer off now, oh, it's all washed out. Looks like Sam's got a big job on, he's on the Weybridge, waiting something. Oh yeah, it's plenty of flashing lights, isn't it? Before we see what Tom Pemmons has been up to with the fast track today, quite a bit of footage actually. Um, I'm going to show you the birthday bumper. So we've got Phil Bunting's 57. Actually, it's really weird. So the last few days we've not had many birthdays whatsoever, but then today we've got loads. So yeah, Phil Bunting's 57, Simon Morley's 13, Jamie Doherty's 11, Ella Gillespie is 8, Ian and Emma's wedding anniversary, 11th wedding anniversary, Chris Wilson is 60, he's on there, James Brackett's Ted Gray is on there, Phil Bigfoot Ham Hampton. Valerie Eaves, I think it's pronounced, is 80. Big 8-0 oh, there. Niall Hamilton, I think it is. He's on there. And Shane Thomas is 45. And we're now up to £34,814. So hopefully by Sunday, we might be at 35000 which is another landmark. So yeah, let's see what Tom's been up to on the fast track. And he's given us a bit of an explanation of the difference between forage boxing and forage harvesting. Stop press. Joe's birthday as well, 36 today. Who's going to as well, look. <laughs> It's going like his uncles. <laughs> so we are chopping second day. Had a bit of rain on this morning. The Ollie Blogsters. Blogsters. I'm, I'm still trying to find a name for everyone. Uh, there's Jack who flies a drone. And then we're rowing up in front as well. The weather is perfect. We've got some blue skies. We're chopping some grass and we're making money on solar. Yes, boys and girls. So saw the video yesterday and obviously he was at Cotton Eye Sows with Colin with his a uh, forage box so instead of using a forage box we have a chopper that we hire in with contractors they bring a driver and a trailer obviously i've got ollie's fast track and his trailer he's just done now so he just waits and this is the difference so they've um isaac in front just filled up and then i can keep going 
So the chopper can keep chopping grass. It doesn't have to have like um, traveling time. With a wagon, you've got traveling time from field to the farm. You could argue it compacts better because the guys have got more time in the clamp for compaction. But then this can do 120, 130 acres of a good crop in like a pretty good day. You can start, we only started today at 12 o'clock, normally we start around 10, and normally get finished around six, and we can do 100 acres easy in that time. The forage box, you're limited to about 60 acres a day. Do about a shave. The other thing with a forage box as well, you need a big tractor. Our biggest tractor on our farm is only 100 horsepower. I looked at it again, a bigger one, but if you haven't seen on my videos, we're putting a new parlor in, and a new parlor for me is, worth more than a new tractor to be honest because a new parlor would save a lot more time so you'd need a bigger tractor you need to buy the forage boxes which aren't cheap i don't actually know how much they are 80 grand i could be wrong with that one um, but with this the contractors you pay per acre uh, they chop it fill the trailers we tip it and then you've got someone on the butt rate you can get someone a whole team to mow tear it out row it back up chop it butt rake it uh, all you gotta do is sheet up, and I think some contractors will sheet up as well. So that's the difference. Hope it wasn't too boring and exciting, you guys, on the uh, blog side. Cheers. Bloggers, JCB is in good hands at the moment. Uh, we're just shopping over there. Got a massive uh, burrow trail, I think. Uh, we have, we're in the big field now, which is 28, 28 acre field. So we've got about 64 acres after this. We've probably done maybe. 60-70% of this field, then over 64 acres after that. When do you reckon we're going to be done? It is currently 5 o'clock. Do you reckon we're going to be done today? Highly doubt it, but yeah. She good at. Right, I'm just going to show you something on here. Andrew wanted to wash my car because it was obviously filthy. I normally don't wash them, I just trade them in. But um, can you see all the dead flies? So anyone that says that all the bugs in the country have been killed by farmers, the whole car is covered with them and he, we also have got to wash it because we've got to get all the stickers on it because it's going to be the escort vehicle for the combine run we were going to use the van but then when we realized it's like eight and a half hours up to john O'Groats, we thought we'd go in comfort plus sort of six back from land's end and then also four days sat in it at 20 mile an hour following the combine and um, we're going to use that that concrete looks to be going off nicely now See your face in it, which is uh, smoothed it all off, brushed it all out, ready, and that is now welded on. A little bit of cement around the bottom there to make it easier tomorrow or Monday whenever we do it. Oh, I better show you Rob's weld here because he'd be proud of it. And then that is all concreted in as well now. Sunk a little bit that actually. Hmm. Maybe the uh, soil's pulled the moisture out of the cement quick. But yeah, well strip that probably tomorrow set it up over here and then concrete this other one really though we should be finishing the shed off over there but um we sort of started in this shed and thought well while we're able to do it because we'll just set it up each day but sort of slightly underestimating the time of digging holes and cutting steel and messing about um but yeah we need to get on finishing that shed and the walls at the bottom we brought the straw the other week and then didn't do anything with it we've got to make this frame around the bottom with the gravel in Anyway, that's all for today. Andrew's going to finish off washing my car. Uh, I've had a headache most of the day, so you probably see that I don't look like I've been myself. Um, didn't drink enough water yesterday. I think that's what I'm putting it down to, so I've been taking paracetamol. So how are you feeling today? Because I'm still only about 75%. Let us know in the comments. It is Mental Health Awareness Week, so let me know. And let's see if we can get everyone watching to comment how they feel. And if anyone's less than sort of 65, you know, have a chat with them and see how they're getting on. Thanks for watching anyway. If you made it this far, click like. If you want to watch another video, there's loads. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Actually, a little quick Joe Seals ending. Can you see which bit he's done and which bit he's not done? Oh, the satisfaction doing that, eh? You should be paying me to do that.